So this week's meal plan has a pretty simple layout. I'm going to cook most dishes tonight and it's going to be five dishes. So tonight we're going to have some ahi tuna. This was on clearance from Aldi with asparagus and some kind of potato. Tomorrow will be taco salads. Tuesday is barbecue pizza with broccoli on the side. Wednesday is adobo, which is a Filipino chicken dish with rice and cauliflower on the side. Thursday and Friday is um, my take on a Greek lemon chicken and rice soup. And then Saturday, that is our takeout day, we'll probably do some Thai food. So just to go over quickly how I'm going to separate everything out, I like to cook and cut as much as possible in advance. Fresh steamed veggies I'm not gonna do till that day because it only takes maybe 10 minutes. So uh, for Sunday tonight, this is what I was talking about. This is the seared ahi tuna. We'll have this with the asparagus. And with that, we'll have some of these Idahoan white cheese mashed potatoes that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then this here is a two pound package of chicken breast that I will be separating into three dishes. This will be boiled and shredded to become taco salads for tomorrow and I'll put some red onion and I have some cheddar cheese in the fridge I'll be putting with that as well. Part of that shredded chicken also will become barbecue pizzas on Tuesday and along with those barbecue pizzas I'll have a side of steamed broccoli and the last third of that chicken will become the Greek lemon and rice soup which has the celery, the lemons, onion, garlic, carrots and I'll be cooking some rice tonight and part of that rice will also be for the adobo chicken which is the Filipino dish we'll be having on Wednesday. In addition to that dish on Wednesday for a vegetable, we'll be doing some cauliflower. So my first few steps for cooking this week's dinner are to first cook the rice so that I can use part of it for the lemon rice soup. I am boiling the two pounds of chicken, which I will break up into three meals. And I'm starting to cook the adobo, which here is just chicken legs. I put a little bit of water there so it doesn't burn. In the adobo is going to be some low sodium soy sauce. This just has a little bit, so I'm probably gonna have to open this one. Some apple cider vinegar and some garlic. I have some more garlic left over from last weekend. I will put some water into this jar shake it up and then pour the entire thing. Of all the ingredients for adobo, garlic is imperative. If you dislike garlic, this is not the dish for you. Some soy sauce. This is not a low sodium dish even though I'm using low sodium soy sauce. And some apple cider vinegar. Careful not to go too heavy on the apple cider vinegar. It could be a bit overwhelming. After adding some freshly cracked black pepper, I'm going to go ahead and let the simmer for probably a good half hour to 40 minutes until the meat is falling off the bone. I believe this chicken is almost done and I'm going to save the water from boiling this chicken for the lemon rice soup. After I got those things going, I cut some of the vegetables for the chicken lemon rice soup and right now I am sauteing the garlic and the onion. I ended up opening a new garlic. This is also from the Dollar Tree. This is about a cup and a half of diagonally sliced carrots and about four celery stalks. And after about 20 minutes of fast boiling, these chickies are about done. This pan of onions and garlic, I want it to heat up a bit faster. It's going a bit too slow for me tonight. So I'm just gonna put this lid like this, kind of trap some of that heat. I'm gonna take one of the Pyrex bowls that I'm gonna use for something later so I don't have to wash an extra dish. We are going to let them cool for a bit. So I'm gonna try and cheat a little bit and stick this in the refrigerator to cool them down faster. Okay, and now we got some sizzling going. Since the carrots are a bit dense, I'm just gonna go ahead and toss these in so that they get cooked with a little bit more time before the celery. This pan comes with a lid, but I am very much the person that doesn't want to do a ton of dishes. So I'm just gonna take the lid again from where I boiled the chicken trap some of that heat and now the adobo chicken is at a real hard boil here so we're just going to go ahead and mix this up a little bit and I think what I'm going to do is change burners because this one is a bit on the smaller side go ahead and add the celery 
And as you can see, the rice is done. So when everything else is ready, I can toss this into the chicken lemon rice soup and save the rest of it for the adobo chicken dish. At this point, I'm waiting for the veggies to finish cooking and for the adobo chicken to finish cooking. So now that I have some time, I'm going to chop the cauliflower, chop the lemons for the soup, and chop the broccoli. I also like to chop the lettuce last so that I can use our only salad spinner to spin some of the veggies that will be side dishes for the week. And I will go ahead and keep the lettuce for the taco salad in the spinner along with the red onion that will be a topping. In an effort to try not to be wasteful, I was looking through our fridge, so I noticed that there's some salsa that we had from a few days ago that we can put with the taco salads and I have some of that spinach left over from last week's meals. I can put a little bit of that into the chicken lemon rice soup. Transfer the veggies for the soup into the pot and I use the pan that's left over to cook the red onion which is going to go on top of the barbecue pizza. The reason I'm cooking this red onion ahead of time is because these pizza crusts that are from the Dollar Tree, I use the ultra thin ones, and these are only in the oven for maybe like seven or nine minutes. It's super, super short. I don't think it's long enough to cook red onion. So after about five minutes, I am done shredding the chicken. Half will stay in this container, and adding to this container will be the cooked red onions for the barbecue pizza. Put half of this chicken into this pot, and I've learned that uh, one packet of taco seasoning is about three tablespoons of seasoning mix. And I will add the juice of two lemons. I may add a little bit more depending on the taste. We have tomorrow's taco salad stuff done for dinner, the onion, the lettuce, the meat, and the salsa that I want to use up. Tuesday's dinner is almost ready. We have the broccoli chopped up for a side of the barbecue chicken pizza with the onions right here. The asparagus is the last thing that gets cooked in this pan. This will be a side to the ahi tuna in addition to these potatoes. <laughs> 